This thing here is my dividing head. It's a made in China copy of the original Dekel one. And when you work with it, you can feel it. But for what I use it, good enough. And this is the mounting bracket. Of course these two parts come together like this. And then the dividing head is mounted here on the bottom side. And when the dividing head and the two mounting plates are all mounted together, it is very heavy and I can't lift it. So I changed the system and I made these three little feet here that I hold down with special made clamps. And with my clamping system it works perfectly fine. It's really easy to use. But what if I want to install this thing in an angle? For the moment I am limited of the angle I can set on the table. This direction, this direction and of course also the tilt. What if for example I need 45 degrees? With this setup it's not possible. If I take this table off and this mounting bracket I can also install the dividing head directly in these slots here in the vertical table. But I can tilt in this direction, I can tilt a little bit in this direction. That's all. So I would like to be able to use sometimes this combination bracket thing. But this mounting plate has only one slot and the vertical table has two. So I can mount it but there is too much stick out here. And if I mount it on the bottom there is too much stick out on the other side. So what I would like to do is to cut two slots here that of course correspond with these two in here. So my plate will be mounted in the middle where it should be mounted. Because for last week's project I had to change the angle of the table. Of course now I have to put it in line again before I can install my part here. But I suppose you don't want to see this. You want? Okay. You see? No big deal. I bolted the mounting plate here on my milling machine and gave it a sweep with the indicator here in these little surfaces. The problem is that the surface finish in these grooves here is about as smooth as the Rocky Mountains. So that's not really a help. And I can't put something straight here like a parallel or square thing or something because of this bolt here in the middle is in the way. And uh, no, I'm not gonna cut a piece out of my square. But here on the side is marked the degrees and in the middle is the zero. So I think it could be useful if I can install my plate with the zero indicating really zero. So not a twist, not a few degrees. But I don't know how to do this. Ok, I think I figured something out here. My part has a bow, part of a circle. And on here I'll mark the degrees, right? And here is my zero degrees mark. If I give it a touch of indicator, the highest point should be the zero. So first I installed the indicator on the highest spot and if I found it 
I can rotate my plate so that the zero indication is in line with the point of my indicator. Let's try. The highest point is about 2 millimeters. So if I cut this in two, it gives me one millimeter. One. So this should be center. Looks good to me. To center my to be installed cutting tool here, it will be very easy. The distance that I need between these two slots is of course the same than here. And the width is also the same than here. So that's easy. So all I have to do is center on one slot and then drill and cut out. And then center on the other slot and drill and cut out. My edge finder is 10 millimeters and the slot is 12. So I have a feel gauge here of 1, which means if I put in my 1 millimeter between the side of the slot and the edge finder, it should, it should just kick out on both sides. And it does. Before I start milling out these slots, first I will spot drill and then drill out the most of the material. That will be a lot easier. Let's do this. I wanted to drill it out with 10 mm, but my 10 mm drill bit is still broken, so 9.5 it will be. I want to make this cut out 10 mm using my cute little 10 mm end mill here, but too short. So 11 it will be. And this one in fact too long. But it is what it is. The little cutouts are finished and I think it will work perfectly fine. And now I think it's time to make some slots to install these locating tabs, just as you can see here. The problem is of course that these are 14 mm and the slots in my milling table is 12. So my first idea was to Recut these at the right size so I can reuse them here, but these are hardened. So I'm not gonna tamper with these, I will make new 
and I will make a 12 mm slot in here and drill somewhere a hole. And of course also take in account that behind these four cutouts here there is a T-nut of course. So I need to leave an empty space and then install my little blocks behind it here somewhere. More or less. Twelve millimeter wide and two millimeter deep. That will be enough. Right, let's make two locating tabs. But first, ah, it's a bit cold in here, you know. Of course, zero degrees. That's not much. Twenty. Much better. Because the mounting plate is still installed on the milling machine and I need the setup to drill and tap holes, I will make my little blocks here on the shaper. And of course also because I want to play with my shaper. two one hundredths less. So this should be a tight fit, but a fit anyway. Let's see. And without cheating and at the first try so I was lucky here and in the blink of an eye I also drilled and tapped these two little locating blocks and I think the moment has come to give this thing a try and to do this of course I need to take off this table the vise and the bracket and then I can install this thing let's do And I didn't forget the three bolts to hold the other part in place, so I'm proud of myself. Oh, upside down. No need of bolts. Huh. These bolts, beautiful, but too short. These bolts, also beautiful, but too long. These studs, 
not beautiful, but they work. To install the head itself, of course, I have to take off these feet. Clean it up a bit. I set the thing at zero here on the dials, here and on this one. And in this direction, with my test bar the indicator, no movement on the indicator. So this zero indeed is zero. And in the other direction, it's a little bit off. But I think, to be sure it works, let's make something. A combined angle of 10 degrees and 20 degrees. And here's the result. I have no idea what it is, but I can make it 